some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, there's just a couple points before I get on with the video. Well, first of all, I have not put out much content in the past few days because I was trying to outrun a Category 4 hurricane, and, uh, well, luckily, no property destruction with my place, but keep the people of the Big Bend area of Florida in your thoughts and everything like that, because, well, they're the ones that got hit hardest by this uh, latest hurricane, and, uh, well, they're really suffering over there. Now, second of all, as uh, I was dodging this hurricane, uh, Long Island Audit ended up getting arrested again. Now, everybody else has covered this video. I know, I know that. But, you know, I haven't, and I want to have some fun with it. So now on to the introduction of the video, finally. In today's video, we find ourselves in Nassau, New York, with the Long Island frauditor, Sean Paul Reyes, as well he comes back to a place where he's been trespassed several times before and presses his luck. And once again, he finds himself getting arrested. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this... S show on the road, shall we? Unfortunately, I was reached out to by a high level Nassau County police officer who told me that Patrick Psycho Ryder, the police commissioner of the Nassau County Police Department, specifically ordered the officers stationed here to arrest me as soon as I begin to exercise my constitutional rights peacefully. Now, I wanted to make a big disclaimer here. And, and let everybody know my intentions. My intention is to go inside of the traffic uh, traffic, and parking violations bureau. I truly think at this point, Sean is quite delusional. I mean, I think I heard him say at one point he wanted to be uh, much like uh, MLK, where he ended up uh, creating a difference within civil rights. Reyes wants to do the same thing, but... I really don't see where he's going with it because he is more for rights for me and not for thee. Case in point, he tried and failed with a lawsuit to get the ability to film with inside uh, police departments, but the argument was by the police departments was all about victims' rights. Well, mostly about victims' rights. So Sean Paul Reyes really doesn't care about the rights of anybody else but himself. And to peacefully exercise not only my constitutional right, my First Amendment right to film law enforcement and government officials in the course of their duty, but also to film the security officers who I have a right to film, a statutory right to film under the New York State uh, Monitoring Act. So I have a constitutional and statutory right to engage in this activity. That is my intention. They like to make a big deal about privacy. I will not be anywhere near any private documents. That's not going to happen here today. I will not be anywhere near private documents. The onus is on them to protect them, but I'm not going to be anywhere near them. My goal is, and my objective, my intent is to film the law enforcement officers that are stationed here at the Traffic Violations Bureau and to film the security officers, the public safety security officers, which is my constitutional and statutorily protected right. And according to the case law, People v. Leonard, I cannot be trespassed from a building while engaging in this constitutionally or statutorily protected activity. Oh, Sean, do you ever bother to look any of this stuff up when you spew it out of your uh, filthy sewer hole? Because when you do that and uh, people like me can actually look it up and see how wrong you truly are. Because there is a provision inside of that uh statute that you might find of particular interest. An individual in New York may not be subject to harassment or arrest for filming or recording an arrest, provided that such individual who films or records the arrest does so without intentionally interfering with the police duties or purposefully harassing members of the police or others, such individuals who film or record an arrest or other law enforcement activity may not engage in actions that jeopardize the safety of an officer, a subject, or others in the vicinity. An individual while engaged in the act of recording or filming an arrest or other law enforcement activity may not substantively violate the law or incite others to violate the law. Sean, that's all you ever do. You incite people to commit crimes all the damn time. 
you have on several occasions interfered with the investigation of several police officers and things like that. So don't act like you're completely innocent in this, Sean. And in the People vs. Leonard, did you fail to even read the whole freaking paragraph? Because it's essentially not saying what you're saying it says once again. Because, well, they are giving conditions as to, well, trespassing if uh, there's a First Amendment issue going on. It's basically saying that it can't be based solely on the First Amendment itself. And in this particular case, it does... Uh, well, grant the ability to uh, protect the security of their campus. So uh, you might want to take a look at what you're talking about because, well, it kind of makes you look like a complete moron when you don't actually do your research, Sean. But they don't care about that. I've already been arrested two times by the Nassau County Police Department under orders of Patrick Psycho Ryder. The first time, the charge was dismissed and the court found that it was facially insufficient. The second time where Patrick Ryder sent two of his goons to my home, almost running me off the road to intimidate my family, that charge was also dismissed to be, and found to be facially insufficient. So you would ask yourself, why? Why would they continue to unlawfully arrest a law-abiding citizen exercising a constitutionally and statutory protected right? Because they can. They know that I have to get out legal fees. I have to pay out for legal fees. I have to go back and forth to court. It's to hurt me. That's what they're doing. But they don't know that we the people are strong together. So if you'd like to help donate, the link is in the description. I really appreciate all your support. I can't do this without each and every one of you. But we're going to continue to exercise our rights and we're going to hold Patrick Ryder accountable. He wants to retaliate me for exposing, retaliate against me, excuse me, for exposing his criminal history. Now, from what Mark Stout pointed out on his channel, the reason why your case was dismissed was because they tried to get you with the wrong statute. But who knows? Maybe next time they won't make that mistake. Maybe they'll actually charge you with something. But you know what? Time will tell. Let's go inside. Let's peacefully exercise our rights to film, again, specifically the law enforcement officers that are stationed there and the security officers. A little longer than a few minutes later. An entire system of corruption and tyranny Nassau County has millions and millions of dollars on unlimited resources to try and put me in a cell and to violate my rights. If she would just have a conversation about the Right to Monitor Act, the New York State Right to Monitor Act, you know, maybe she could be enlightened on the law. I've read the, the, the Right to Monitor Act. I encourage each and every one of you to check out the Right to Monitor Act for New York State the only exception to recording security officers and law enforcement officers in the course of their duty, the only exception is that you cannot be committing an OGA, which is obstruction, obstructing governmental um, an agency. You cannot commit an OGA, an obstruction, which I'm not. I'm clearly not obstructing anything. Well, thank you for the encouragement, Sean. I mean, I'm glad I read that. Uh well, statute and saw that provision in there. And, uh, well, you uh, left out a few things. So either you're a complete incompetent buffoon or you are just a dishonest moron. Uh, either way, you don't look so good after that. Now, as far as what I think about him posting this particular GoFundMe before he even got arrested... Well, yeah, he knew what he was about to do. He just wants to uh, fleece his audience for uh, quick cash and everything like that. He he has more than enough money to uh, pay his legal expenses and everything like that. I mean, don't tell me, Sean, that you don't have a dime to your damn name because that would make you a freaking liar once again. But of course, you're always lying. You know what they say. you got to lie to fraud it. And the, uh, you know, I'm film peacefully filming out of the way of everyone. I'm filming the security officers in the course of their duty. Patrick Psycho Ryder doesn't like the fact that I put a billboard truck in front of his house, exposing all his tyranny and corruption. So this is the third precinct. How do I always end up in the third precinct? It's insane. make sure I'm recording the law enforcement officer, of course, of her duty. Hello, sir. Hey, guys, how are you doing? How are you? Do you mind if I get your names and badge numbers? Officer sure. Goldberg, 4682. 
Okay. And your name? Officer Bastino, 4624. Thank you. At this time, you are being arrested, okay? You're, you're trespass banned from this location, so please put your hands behind your back, okay? How am I trespass banned? There's multiple reports. So you want to get by on, uh, oh, you were arrested because you were filming uh, the cops. Uh, no, you were previously trespassed from this establishment, and, uh, well, you came back, and therefore you were arrested. So it's not about filming in this particular occasion. It's about trespassing laws. Are you trying to piss on my leg and tell me it's raining? Because you keep on changing your stories like you change your underwear. But hell, Sean, you've gotten caught up in so many of your own lies. I don't think you can tell which one is which anymore. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?